Good afternoon. Welcome to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium for the 2020 Ottawa Glendorf High School graduation ceremony. I would like to thank each of you for joining us to honor these graduating seniors for their 13 years of hard work. Today marks the official end of their high school careers and begins their journey through adult life. Over the course of the year, they have been faced with multiple challenges, the loss of milestone events, and even a modified graduation. I can assure you that they are a remarkable group of people. As the new high school principal, I have found them to be considerate, polite, inclusive, great leaders and role models. But over the last two months, my description needs to include resilient and gritty. They have shown us all what it means to be tight and strong. Thank you. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like, like to thank the following people and groups of people for their support throughout the school year. The Ottawa Glendorf Board of Education, Mrs. Lucy Kramer, Mrs. Beth Hemfling, Mr. Dave Dalripple, Mrs. Becky Leader, and Mr. Brent Schrader. Ottawa Glendorf Superintendent, Mr. Don Horseman the Ottawa Glendorf Teaching and Support Staff, the Senior Class Advisors, Mrs. Denise Mangus and Mrs. Elaine Hain, the Junior Class Marshals, Claire Fierst, Gracie Hayes, William Kaufman, Megan Kentner, Jaden Lehman, Matthew Schneig, Anna Siefker, Lauren Siefker, Ashley Sonnenberg, Noah Sutter, and Hannah Verhoff. Mrs. Deb Selhorst and Mrs. Debbie Kuhlman. And a special thanks to our technology coordinator, Mr. Justin Clausen. We would like to especially thank all the parents and the families of the graduates. We will be ever, forever grateful for the guidance, love, and unending support you have given these young people. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce our senior class president, Cody Meyer, to welcome you on behalf of the Ottawa Glendorf class of 2020. At the conclusion of Cody's speech, you'll listen to our class salutatorian, Mr. Mitchell Schrader. And finally, our third speaker for this afternoon will be the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Mr. Noah Utrup. Good afternoon. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2020 at Ottawa Glenor Stadium or from your phone or computer. We thank you for taking the time to share this experience with us as we embark on a new journey in our lives. Before we really start today, I would ask for a moment of silence in memory of our classmate Ty Khan. Thank you. As I thought, sat and thought about what to write for this, I kept asking the question, how do you speak about something you weren't able to completely finish? It took a little bit to realize that we are finishing, just not in the way we had planned or hoped to. We still have people who we appreciate and we needed to thank because they helped us get here today. They kept us going through all the governor's orders which sealed our fate for the rest of the school year. The first group of people that came to mind our teachers along with administration and staff. This time was extremely hard for all you as well, whether it be having the patience the first few weeks with technology, making sure we were able to learn everything you wanted us to do, everyone getting their work done on time, you were there for us. I also want to thank you all for keeping us updated with daily postings and checking on how things were going out of this time of school. The next group of people who helped us get here is our parents. I'm sure when we all got home from school or practices, our mothers and fathers would ask, how was your day? They probably always got good or it was okay, and then followed by, what's for dinner? However, during these times, our parents were supporting us, telling us we were going to be okay, especially when they were consoling us when things we cared about so much continued to be canceled. Parents, you have always been there for us, and we are forever grateful for your support in our journey this far. There are many additional people that I have not mentioned yet, and we thank from the bottom of our hearts. However, I will say 
We, the class of 2020, should all thank each other. There were times during these past four years that were tough, whether it be the class, a passing of a loved one, or this pandemic altering the final stretch of our senior year. We stayed strong. This shows in our high number of honor grads, national member, honor society members, athletic achievements, and milestones in music and art. Our dedication and hard work has paid off. We haven't given up, it comes times were tough in the past and even now in the face of a global pandemic. Even though this hasn't been the senior year we wanted, we all pushed through and finished. The future is bright for this class due to the help we have received along the way that helped us become who we are today. I leave you with this final thought. This may have not been the senior year you wanted. No senior musical, no New York trip, no problem to bond with classmates one more time. However, you need to reflect on the years you've had together, the hard work you've already done, the lessons you've learned to improve your future, like mass buying toilet paper in the face of a global pandemic. Take that with you, and I know you will succeed. Congratulations to everyone, and good luck to all of you in the future. I know you will achieve great things. Welcome everyone to this very unique graduation ceremony to celebrate the class of 2020. To begin, I would like to thank all the very special people in all the graduates' lives who helped us get to this moment. Thank you to the administrators for making this possible and the teachers for helping us along the way in our educational journey. I would also like to thank all the parents, family members, and friends who have been with us and supported us since the beginning. I would also like to thank my parents for always pushing me because I would not have gotten very far if they weren't always on me to do my best. And if you know me, you know which parent pushed a little harder than the other. Our graduation marks a major milestone in our lives, and for many of us, our first step into adulthood. We were told to enjoy our four years at Ottawa Glendorf because before we knew it, it'd be over. Our four years just happened to go a little faster than everyone else's. As a class, we have accomplished so much in these four years, including becoming the masters of senior skip day, and we've been able to handle adversity and make the best of a bad situation. Our sport teams have been successful, but for the most part, these sports now come to an end. What matters the most is the lessons we learn from these sports and the classroom. We'll all probably forget the plot of the glass castle and how to use the Pythagorean theorem, but the lessons that we learn from these will stay with us through the rest of our lives, including how to strive through a bad situation, making the best of a bad situation, and the dedication we learn from our sports. These lessons will help us become great engineers, medical workers, military personnel, or any other occupation this class chooses to pursue. As we go our separate ways, we will always share a common beginning at the Ottawa Glendorf High School. For the past couple of months, our entire country has focused on coming together, and I saw the same unity in our class. We all formed friend groups freshman year, but as time went on, I could see all of us seniors coming together as a class. We have shared memories and came together through class projects, sports, and other activities like homecoming and prom. In these past four years, we have made common memories at the loft, the cottage, a certain classmate saying that he had a fetus freshman year in health class, and a classmate showing us how to make homemade fireworks in class with only a paper clip and an outlet. Yes, Ms. Saloff, that's how your breaker was blown. These memories and friendships that we have made since freshman year will stay with us forever, and even though we might not have been able to go to New York or have our senior musical, we are still able to make memories that will last a lifetime and put a smile on our face when we reminisce in 30 years. Finally, I would like to offer some advice to all the graduates. First, spend your money, parents' money while you still can. And second, treat every moment like it's your last so you can live with no regrets. Congratulations to the class of 2020. When the eagle spreads its wings, it's something to behold. Nearly nine feet from tip to tip. When it spreads its wings, we can tell it was built for high places. It was built to soar, to fly. It was built to withstand the storms so that when a storm comes and other birds seek shelter, it flies directly into the storm. It uses the storm to lift it up so that it can fly above the storm. You know you're an eagle when you run into the storm. 
that you thought was going to stop you, but instead of stopping you, it lifts you higher than you've ever been lifted before. To my fellow classmates, class of 2020, today is the first day of the rest of our lives, but so was yesterday and so will be tomorrow. Let's make every day count. Every one of us is an eagle. How you might ask? Eagles have powerful vision. Eagles can see several miles, even in the dark of night. They can spot a rabbit two miles away on the ground. Let us make goals so that we can see our path for the future. I challenge us all to set both big and small goals. However, take the time to see our accomplishments and accomplishments of each goal. Celebrate it. Take the time for that too. It's important. Whether it's just a small daily goal of making five people smile or just getting the last chapter of your literature novel read, these small goals are important. Let's set long-term goal, long goals too, like getting promoted in your job or even becoming world-renowned. Growing up, my dad asked me every day what my goal was. I may not have had an answer for him, but it put that thought in my head of what I wanted to accomplish that day. I did set one goal at freshman orientation, and that was to become valedictorian of this class. And I made it with a lot of tough competition. The real joy of accomplishing this goal came with the relationships that I had made along the way. This class challenged each other to be better academically, athletically, and to build stronger work ethic and character. I realize now that the people I encountered in my journey were the most important part of it. I want to give a special thank you to the staff of the OG School District. And thank you to the teachers who over the years went out of their way to help me or any of my other classmates. You have made a difference in our lives. Thank you to our parents and family for supporting us, even when times are hard. We are grateful for everyone who played a role in getting us to this graduation. In life, you can be running in circles or just running in place and getting nowhere. But once you set goals, this movement becomes progress. So don't confuse movement with progress. Set goals so that you aren't running in place and getting nowhere. Eagles are fearless and tenacious. So I challenge you, don't be afraid to fail. Fail big. Go outside the box, and if you don't fail at times, consider that you might not have set your goals high enough. So let's all fail big. At the beginning of this year, Mrs. Nolan didn't know what to think when there was a bunch of seniors coming into her office to try to fit more classes in their schedule. This had been previously unheard of because most seniors were happy to take an easier class load. I think that this is a true testament to the character of our class. We have also already lived through some tough events. We don't know how things were the year we were born because of the 9-11 attacks that changed our world forever. We also had a five extra days to prepare for our first day of kindergarten because the big flood in 2007. And now a pandemic like the world has never seen in recent years sends us out into that very world and we are ready to make every moment count. My mom said to me often that my intelligence is a gift from God and not to waste it. Each one of us has many special gifts and I believe that each one of us will bless the world with them. So just as eagles fly directly into the storm, when life challenges you, fight through it. The lessons you learn from your experiences and the people around you will propel you far above any storm or challenge. This class of 2020 has a lot of unfinished business. I wish good luck to each and every one of you. And go fly into the world and into our next journey. Thank you. This class has been very successful. The class of 2020 has received over 150 scholarships, totaling approximately $1.5 million. 
This class also has approximately 87 members that will be attending college, pursuing either a four-year degree, an associate's degree, or going to a trade school. Four will be pursuing apprenticeships, and eight seniors are choosing the military. Those seniors attending military are Sean Beverly, Alexis Camerino, Garrett Croy, Emily Krakowski, Logan Miller, Jasmine Rich, Brianna Siebenek, and Grace Turnwald. Thank you for your service. We'd also like to recognize those individuals that have been able to maintain a 4.0 GPA for their entire high school career. Those 10 individuals include Alec Dybel, Claire Iden, Samantha Herman, Erica Hegeman, Grace Hoffman, Aubrey M., Maggie Rump, Olivia Rump, Addie Smittabush, and Mitchell Schrader. Congratulations. At this time, it's my pleasure to present to you the class of 2020. Superintendent Horseman and the Ottawa Glander Board of Education, it is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2020. These individuals have completed the requirements set forth by the State of Ohio and the Ottawa Glendorf Board of Education for graduation. Mm -hmm.